and honored for the 4th of July, now being asked to return the flag he received. That soldier was convicted of killing detainees in Iraq. Now city leaders are pushing to change the rules when it comes to honoring veterans. Thank you for joining us. I'm Ginger Gadsden. Yeah, glad you're with us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. News 6's James Sparvero has the latest on the controversy developing in Brevard County. You got a right to your opinion, I got a right to my opinion. That's too bad. You're using my time. The time is 1.20 in the morning at Palm Bay City Hall where the city council and the public emotionally express mixed opinions about a veteran Mayor Rob Medina recognized at the city's 4th of July celebration. We celebrate Sergeant First Class Joseph Mayo for how we left it on the battlefield. Joseph Mayo left the military with a dishonorable discharge, but the mayor presented the Army veteran with a flag from City Hall under the city's new flag program honoring vets and first responders. Thank you guys. Mayo and two other soldiers were convicted of killing four detainees in Iraq. Mayo was sentenced to 35 years in prison, but was released early and is now on parole. I'm going to apologize for the city of Palm Bay. At Thursday night's meeting, the council voting 3-2 to adopt new criteria for the flag program to exclude veterans discharged dishonorably, and Mayo was asked to return his flag. If you was offended, I want to apologize, because I was offended too. Sergeant Mayo! Mayor Medina argues the flag presentation could have helped Mayo cope with his PTSD. Mayo is a recipient of the Purple Heart and Bronze Star Medal. The mayor was trying to help him heal. Was it right? I don't think so. But to take that flag from him. And along with the flag, the city of Palm Bay Friday says Mayo also turned in his Army uniform. In Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, getting results, News 6.